YouTube, you are watching Daily Dinkus on June 1st, and today is an amazing day. You might have guessed from my head that it is in fact World Dinosaur Day. That's right, and that's why I'm here in Drumheller, Alberta, ground zero really for dinosaur discoveries. There is a museum here called the Royal Tyrell Museum, which it may be the preeminent dinosaur museum on Earth. So we are going to go and check that out, but we have a couple of twists because today is also take a dare day, go barefoot day, leave work early day. So we're going to have some fun with this one. So it's World Dinosaur Day. I'm heading to Drumheller to see the dinosaurs. There's no dinosaurs there anymore. Damn. So we are just outside Calgary, Alberta, heading east toward the Tyrell Museum. And we're going to be right in the heart of dinosaur alley or field I don't know ditch I don't know what it is so that is my rental car and I came from down here and Google's telling me I should continue on down this way because it's faster that's east that's north I can go either way but I don't know what to do luckily today is slip a coin day and I have just a thing so let's say, heads we go this way. I'm just gonna drop it. And it says, tails. So, I guess we're going through the dirt. So I'm driving down the dirt road and I'm kind of thinking, yeah, this is probably not a great idea. And because it is flip a coin day, I can flip a coin again and say, all right, well, heads, it was a bad idea. Tails, damn it. All right, tails, it was a bad idea. What the hell's going on? Look at this. All right, so I guess it was a good idea. Well, all right, the fates are telling me to go down this damn road, so. This gentleman's telling me I shouldn't continue down this road because why? Yeah, there could be more soft spots and with a low car, you could. I could disappear? Off. Yeah, you could. Well, maybe. <laughs> All right, I'll turn around. Thanks, man. You saved my life. <laughs> so, yep, it's raining here in Alberta. And I gotta say, I've been really lucky with the weather. This is really the first rain I've had in a month. And wouldn't you know it, it's on a day that I've got a rental car and I'm driving anyway. And I, ironically, I wanted that dramatic rain at the Dinosaur Museum and it looks like we passed through it and it might even be well, light gray skies ahead, so. Uh. So I'm about half an hour from Drumheller and I've stopped beside this farmhouse because I have a small problem and that is that nature is calling and I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, I've been driving for ages and I haven't seen anywhere I could stop because this is all just farmland out here. I had to stop because that truck was making a lot of noise. Anyway, I've got my lucky penny and I'm just gonna say, heads, I pee right here. Well, 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 look at that. Can't defy the lucky penny. And you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'll be back in a bit. Well, wow, that was perfect timing because I just finished and there's a slew of cars coming now. <laughs> Thank you, Lucky Penny. Wow, this penny, oh sorry. Thank you, Lucky Nickel. This nickel is a genius. Seriously, I'm gonna keep this thing. Maybe I'll turn it into a necklace and just wear it all the time. So we're getting closer and that is a good sign. Where there's oil, there are dinosaurs. Or is it the other way around? Where there's dinosaurs, there is oil? Yeah, that's probably right. Uh, I'd like to ask about the possibility of prospecting for some dinosaur bones at the museum. I'm hoping maybe there's like a, an alley behind the museum. Yeah, well, we should give you a pan, like you're panning for gold, and the kids could go back there in the gully and, you know, could get, find themselves a, a little pterodactyl ear bone or something, you know, or like a little toe from a raptor. Wouldn't that be cool? Love this. We're in Drumheller, and there's the Jurassic Hotel, and right here on my right is a baby triceratops. How cool is that? He's so cute. Oh, he's a cutie. Look at him. There are dinosaurs everywhere in Drumheller. 
I'm just outside the Quality Inn, and this is in my front lawn. I'm a YouTuber. Are you guys here for Dinosaur Day? Are you here for dinosaurs at all? Yes. It's Dinosaur Day today. I did not know that. Yeah, now you know. So you're in the right place. Yeah. I'm gonna do some dinosaur madness today. What's that? I've never seen a dinosaur. <laughs> you seen a dinosaur? Would you rather see a dinosaur or a YouTuber? Wow. Would you rather see me than a dinosaur? Dude, I love you guys. <laughs> Jurassic laser tag. All right. Escape this drum heller. Man, everything here is dinosaur themed. Like. I'm surprised that isn't like a little pterodactyl on the record player there. So I'm in the Dollarama store in Drumheller and I'm just looking for some dinosaur themed toys or candies to give away. Dinosaur water guns. Sand molds, wow. So here's the candy owl and it looks like any generic Dollarama candy owl. I'm really disappointed. Yeah, they have no dinosaur candy. It's also dare day today. Dare me to punch him? I'm gonna punch him. I'm gonna tell him, damn it, you should have some dinosaur candies and I'm gonna punch you because you don't. You dare me? I'm gonna do it. Actually, there's a huge line, so I think I'm just gonna run. Damn you, Dollarama. Get some damn dinosaur candies. This is downtown Drumheller. Quite a happening spot. And I'm actually just looking for some dinosaur candies and damn it. There's like Badlands Gallery, there's restaurants, arts store, but no candies anywhere. Look at this guy on the corner. <laughs> so though, another dinosaur spotting. Check it out. They are everywhere in this town. Ooh. I'm still searching for some dinosaur candies, but all I'm finding is dinosaur bus stops and benches. That's pretty cool though. I love this town. And of course there's a ghost walk tour here in Drumheller. I think the whole town is probably haunted by prehistoric men who were trampled by dinosaurs. And women, and women. I don't think the dinosaurs discriminated, so uh, don't feel bad ladies, you too could have been trampled by a dinosaur. Do we have any dinosaur themed candy? No. Oh, this, is, this is a travesty. I can't I find any anywhere in this town. No? No. Because who wants it's... to lick dinosaur food? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> right here? <laughs> if someone said, I have this dino poop, like legitimate dino poop, this is your opportunity once in a lifetime to, to lick it. You no, wouldn't? Thanks. Really? No. Wow, I would, I would in an instant. Yeah, no. So apparently Value Drug Mart is not home to any dinosaur candies, but it is home to this check it out I want one of these so we've arrived at the visitor information office and looming above the information office is this monstrosity this is the world's largest dinosaur it's got to be what 25 feet tall 30 feet yeah, that is one mother of a dinosaur. And when I say mother, I mean, I don't know if they make these things anatomically correct, but as far as I can tell, that's a mother. Yeah, that's a mother of a dinosaur. So I thought I'd hop into the visitor center just to talk to them for a minute. And as I was walking, you can see this wet spot here. I think today. It, did you know that? It's what? It's dinosaur day. June 1st is dinosaur day. Okay. Yeah. And your dinosaur peed on me on the way in here, oh, by the way. Oh, she always does. She dribbles. Oh, yeah. It's an incontinent. Can you get like an adult diaper for her? I'm great. Today is dinosaur day. No June 1st. Yeah, well, I guess so. Yeah, but today is actually, I think it's World Dinosaur Day. World Donut Day? Yeah, it's National Donut Day. It's, bare, it's Go Barefoot Day. It's Flip a Coin Day. It's Dare Day. So I dare you to go barefoot for the rest of the day. It's also leave work early day. So you guys should go home right now. 
Yeah, I want to go to the Tyrone Museum. Okay, I can get you there. Okay, right. that's good news. Is this supposed to look like a pterodactyl or something? Because no, it kind of looks like. No, it's just a coincidence. Yes. Cool. It's very coincidental. Neat. In fact, I've never noticed it before. So. It's a bit of a stretch, but it you is, know. but I can grasp that. Yeah. One. And it brings you right to the entrance of the Royal Trail Museum. There will be signs along the way helping you out. And the hours Amazing. are tonight. Awesome. Lots of time. Great. And those look like D's, like for dinosaur. Perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> this place is all about dinosaurs. I noticed. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard not to see a dinosaur in this town. It is actually. So we're heading to the Royal Tyrell Museum. We are getting very close, kids. We're very close to seeing some dinosaurs. I'm so excited. I can barely contain my excitement. Wait, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I am stony. Still, I am dinosaur. I am jumping with Jurassic excitement. I am enraptured. Enraptured? I am. What am I? I am all sorts of excited. My heart is brought to soaring with excitement. Here we are. Oh. This is going to be pterodactylicious. Oh yeah, we are almost there. It's right down this road. Ah, yeah, Royal Tyrell Museum. And we have arrived. Just gotta park the car and I'm gonna see some dinosaurs. Right from the get-go, there's stuff outside. It's dinosaur day, it's go barefoot day, it's flip a coin day. So, it's also dare day, so I dare you to leave work early. How's that? I don't <laughs> no? I dare you to go barefoot for the rest of the day. Can't do that one either because no. then I would be leaving work early. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's true. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You all know what that is. That's a T-Rex and a Raptor. So I want some selfies with these dinosaurs. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And this guy, the T-Rex guy. Yeah. Pick his nose. Okay, that was fun. Where to begin? Can you take me on a little tour? What's the coolest thing in here? Uh, well, my personal favorite thing in here is the, uh, the notosaur that we have in the Grounds for Discovery exhibit. Uh, yeah, it's one of the best preserved ankylosaur dinosaurs in the world. Prize specimen of the collection. So it looks like a giant alligator type thing. What exactly so are you looking at here? Uh, okay, so it's actually an ankylosaur, but more specifically, it would be a notosaur. So, so how big did these things get? Is this a baby or is this a giant or what? Uh, there's no way to really know. They're actually not very common in general. For example, in Dinosaur Provincial Park, you'll find thousands of hydrosaurs, hundreds of ceratopsians, and maybe tens of these guys, and a lot of them okay. are just teeth or small bits. Uh, Next question. Today, I was going to wear a bow tie with ducks on it because I remembered birds are dinosaurs. Or is that wrong? Uh, uh, birds are evolved from one group of dinosaurs. So they're not miniature dinosaurs. Uh, no, they are not. They the are. earliest birds were dinosaurs. We actually have a Confucius soreness in the gallery, which is uh, like this really prehistoric bird-like creature from the Cretaceous period. Confucius soreness, say, let's go check it out. Soreness. Okay. So this is it. Wow, so that's... Uh, that's the original thing. Wow, it's tiny. Yeah, well, you This know. is a microsaur. Uh, yes. Was it very smart, like Confucius? Is that who it's named after? 
It's just the name. Oh, because you know, if you think about it, the most brilliant people in history have been very small. Like, think about Yoda, for example. No comment. Uh, I have no comment on Yoda and his size relative to intelligence. I imagine Confucius was very smart and and a relatively small person. I I'm guessing people were. It's just a fact that people were generally shorter back then. Were they smarter too? Are we getting dumber as we get bigger? I don't know about that. I Did dinosaurs? Uh, they're not mammals, so their their babies are born in an egg, right? As far as we know. And when the egg hatches, they don't nurse or anything. They don't breastfeed the babies, right? Uh, yes, milk is a trait unique to mammals. It's too bad because I would love to see a little baby T-Rex nursing at its mother's teeth. So a brontosaurus, let's say, or a brontosaurus a rex. Brontosaurus was not a real dinosaur. But I saw it on the Flintstones. I don't care where you saw it, that's not a real dinosaur. Okay, but hypothetically it had a big brain. I don't, Maybe, I don't right? know. Uh, it's a sauropod and their skulls were... It's about a uh, brain to body ratio. And right. That's a it was, ratio. Let me just say this, the brontosaurus was smarter than Fred. Uh, so, this this T-Rex skull that weighs 600 pounds, if that fell on you, you would be perhaps the only human being killed by a T-Rex in modern history. No. No? It's happened before? No, because it's rock now. It's I'd be rock. killed by rock. Oh, but, oh, well, it's an interesting philosophical question. It's still a T-Rex, in my book. No, it's because the permineralization replaces the bone with rock, so it's no long, no part of that is bone anymore. Do you know about Theseus' ship? So there's a philosophical question. In, in ancient Greece, there was a guy named Theseus, and he had a ship. And over the course of several years, he replaced every piece of that ship with a new piece. Is it still Theseus' ship? Does Theseus st still own the ship? I don't know. Say, it, say he still owned it, but is it still the same ship? Every component has been replaced with a new component. At what point does it cease to become Theseus' original ship? They are, but some of those guys out there and girls, I'm sure would say, if you have a rock that was once a T-Rex skull land on kill and kill you, you were killed by a T-Rex. Do you have copper lights here in the museum? Uh, I don't know if we have any on display. Uh, I know we have a we have a we have a number in the collection, but we don't. I don't know if we have any. On wow, display. really? Uh, where would they be if there were some? If there were some, yeah. I come through this museum about 30 times a day. I've never seen one. Rats. Why not? Why don't you put those on display? You'd think people would want to see that. A uh, limited gallery space. But they're... Uh, well, how big are these things? That big, but like every time you every time you put up something else, it blocks something else. It's this area and of the museum has been meticulously designed by the best experts in museum studies and space design. Uh, you know, far and they be have it. determined that there is no ideal space in which we could properly display a coprolite. Man, I think it's a conspiracy against the coprolites, and up? I'm gonna start some kind of a foundation or activist group to get coprolites exhibited in the museums around the world, because I, I know most kids would like to see dinosaur poop, probably more than the dinosaurs. That's quite possible. Uh, I'm disappointed, I have to say. Yeah, if you poop. feel like the museum could be improved, we encourage guests to leave comments in the suggestion book, and museum staff does in fact read them. You know, Would you not like to see... Well, you have seen them. I've seen them, yeah. See, it's not fair. You get to see them, and these... You know, the public is deprived of there seeing dinosaur There are museums in which you can see them. I know the Museum of Nature in Ottawa has copper lights on display. We just don't. Of course, they probably just look like a rock, right? Yeah, they just look like uh, so. Though I'm seeing ones that look very nice, that are very, that look very much like the original thing in that they have preserved much of their shape. Interesting. So they do they look like you know the emoji poop with the little happy face? Do they look like that. The one I've seen. Essentially, actually, yeah. Really? Where was that? I've got to see this thing. That's in Ottawa. That one's not in Ottawa. I don't know if that one's in Ottawa. Damn. No one in our collection does in fact look like that. And that is not on display? 
Dude, if this museum was on fire and I had 10 seconds to grab one item, I would grab that, Jiggy. People would be really mad at you for preserving that and not something better. Yeah, maybe you're right. Do they smell like anything? No. Yes, rocks. Hold on. Rocks. A coprolite is not technically a dinosaur poop. It could be any, like if I pooped now and it, it was a fossil in five years, that would be a coprolite. It takes about 10,000 years for something to fossilize. Not if I stick it in a special pressure, high pressure chamber with a, some kind of laser. You could make a lot of money doing that. Yeah, uh, you could. Like those fake diamonds, right? Artificial diamonds. There you, go. you could make artificial diamonds out of poop. No comment. The lights in here. How much energy does this place consume every year? Uh, well, it's important to maintain the well-lit nature of the galleries in order for guests to have the maximum enjoyment. I agree, but those are like halogen bulbs or something. You guys should have some uh, like LED bulbs. In here. If you have questions or concerns, please feel free to put it down in the suggestion book. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write the hell out of that suggestion book. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it up. Fair warning that I'm anything gonna profane say. or no, no, will be redacted. No. Yeah, no, no. I'm, but I'm gonna say I think you should have dinosaur toilet paper. Is this the name? It's a funny looking dude, eh? But I think his ribs are cool. You could like play a musical instrument. You could make a xylophone out of those, can't you? You shouldn't. It would be a euplocephophone. You should not. No? Would I get kicked out if I played a tune on there? Uh, faster than you could turn off the camera. Okay, I won't do that until you're far away. So this is a gorgeous saurus, and it is it is pretty attractive, more than most dinosaurs. Sorry? Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's not a gorgeous saurus. It's a gorgeous. Oh, that's too bad. I, for once, I thought here was a here was a dinosaur finally that had a cool name, and it's they all not. Have cool I, names. They all have cool names. No, but they're not hip, and you know. That's not the point. No, I know. But I, I feel like the guys that were, and it was all guys in the race for the dinosaurs, right? Uh, there have been a number of women paleontologists, uh, notable amongst them Mary Anning, the princess of paleontology. Uh, she was famous for discovering many marine reptiles and other such creatures in uh, southern England. But she's probably 20th century? Uh, I think late 19th, early 20th. Okay. In I'm that general range. I just mean the original guys like Cope and uh, what was the other dude? Marsh. Yeah, Marsh, yeah. Uh, I think they're like late 20th. They were real, they were real sons of bitches too, weren't they? Uh, I know Cope there was, was a real rivalry there. I don't, I can neither confirm nor deny that. My granddaddy's granddaddy's granddaddy knew Cope and he was a real piece of work. He was a copper light. They used to call him that behind his back. It's unprofessional. Copper light is what they call them. Get it? Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah. Um, so now we're talking about the stride, dinosaur locomotion. Um, so it would have been really hard on their limbs carrying all that weight. No harder than it is on any other being to carry their weight on their limbs. I mean. Really? If you weighed 2,000 pounds or 5,000 oh, pounds? To be able to carry that. Uh, yeah, I guess, but I'm sure if you asked a dinosaur, hey man, would you like a pair of Nikes? What would they say? Uh, indiscernible dinosaur noise. <laughs> discernible, and it would be the sound of you dying, being eaten by a dinosaur. What is uh, this thing? Ah, I say what? Shonosaurus sicanensis. It's a large ichthyosaur from the Triassic period. The Triassic period. So is that what it looked inside? Did it have like guts like that? Uh, well this thing obviously has been compressed by the pressures and geologic forces. But what's really cool is to look at the outline on the floor around it so you get an idea of how big it really was. Oh, I see. Oh, it's, it's a... Giant. Oh, I didn't even realize it's an aquatic creature. I'm yeah. a, I'm a dinkus. So right, there were dinosaurs in the oceans too. Nope. No? Oh, so they weren't why weren't they called dinosaurs? Because they're not dinosaurs. How are they different? For starters, they're not terrestrial, they don't have upright limb posture. 
So that's what characterizes a dinosaur? What defines a dinosaur? Why are you not a dinosaur? Uh, I'm not in general a reptile. I do not have upright limb posture. I do not lay eggs. Okay, my I am not a diapsid. What's a diapsid? Two holes behind my eye. Okay, so say I had an iguana with two holes behind its eye. Not a dinosaur. No? No, it's sprawling posture, not upright posture. I thought you were going to say iguanas don't have holes behind their eye. They're, they probably don't. Mine, don't, mine don't. would, because I'd poke him so that he'd be a dinosaur. That's animal abuse. What if you liked it? What if you said, hey man, I'm hip, I want to I want to have earrings. I want to be like the dinosaurs. This is very hypothetical. It is. Several hundred million years of geologic history. It's just a quick little walk through. You know, honestly, that's such a nice scene. I would like to come back with a lawn chair, like a, like a, a lounger, and a towel, and a sun lamp, and just sit right there. If you did so, we would ask you to leave. That's not very nice. It occupies gallery space that uh, might disturb other uh, visitors. I wouldn't be a permanent addition to the gallery. I'd just be a temporary feature. You could talk. I'll talk if, to your boss. If you want to become a permanent or temporary feature to the museum, you feel free to write down that in the suggestion. Ah, uh, yes, the famous suggestion box. My friend oh, Alex here has been very patient with me, even though I've been a super dinkus today. Haven't I? You can be honest. The eyes say it we all. We do whatever possible to ensure that guests have an enjoyable time at the Royal Terrell Museum. Which loosely translated means, yeah, you've been a total dinkus, but I'm not going to say that because I'm too nice. Honestly, it's kind of, kind of fun. But see, it's now it's flip a coin day, and my lucky coin is in the car, and I'm too lazy to get it, so I'm going to use this Mexican coin. Peso? Yes, it's actually five pesos. So what we're going to do is if uh, Alex is going to flip the coin, and if it's a tail, uh, he's going to have to spend the next hour with me, and if it's a head, then he, he's free to go. So, uh, Tails, he's stuck with me for another hour. Fun fact, I never agreed to that. Stick your hand out, man. I Let's see. agreed to this. Let's see, here we go. <laughs> and it says, oh, I think that's Tails. I don't know, man. I think regardless of the coin flip, yeah. I have a duty to perform my job. I'll let, I'll let you go. I'm just razzing you. I'll let you go. You've been a great host. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Pleasure. And uh, yeah, I will text you later with those questions at 2 a.m. You don't have my number. Second. That's what you think. So I am leaving a, a suggestion about the copper lights. All right. And hopefully, they'll take it seriously. They read and think about every suggestion that is put in that box. Right on. I think if they did uh, an informal survey. Especially the kids, I think it would be a hit. And if you put an S on the front of that word, okay, that was a dumb joke. I'm out of here. So uh, happy Dinosaur Day, yes, happy well. Dare Day, and uh, I dare say uh, it's been fun. All right, oh, cheers. You have to put the oh yeah. There are these things called coprolites, and what they are is basically hardened, fossilized dinosaur poop. Okay. And I said, well, that's really interesting. Why don't you have any on display? And they said, well, there isn't really much room in the museum. And I said, you got to be kidding me. I think like a lot of people, and kids especially, yes. would love to see that. Yeah. So I want to ask you, young lady, what do you think? Would you like to see dinosaur poops in the museum? Would you like dinosaur poops? Yeah. You yeah. see, there it is. There it is. Yeah. I'm going to send them this clip and say, <laughs> put some copper put lights some, in there. Put some, don't take your hand out of your the best time but it's world dinosaur day today it's world 
dinosaur day. We were checking out the dinosaurs. And I have something for you. Oh. I have some little, their little tattoos oh, of dinosaurs. You, you can have them all. Oh, I'm lady. done today. Oh, so. and yeah. and all you, oh, I see you got dinosaurs. Oh, I do. That's perfect. Owie. That's perfect. Are you okay? <laughs> look, look. Just a minute. I'll pick you up here for a minute. Look, look at the dinosaurs. Look, look, look at this. Look. Look at that! Look at all those dinosaurs! Isn't that neat? <gasps> oh, oh we... you'll be okay. Yeah. Look, we'll put some on you. Yeah. Can yeah, you can some... have some on you we'll too. Put these on you, okay? Oh, he has a dinosaur tattoo. Yeah. 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 Okay. In the bathtub <laughs> tomorrow.